Alright, so let's just add the screws to this piece just to uh, finish it off before we start doing the side up on the top. Okay, so we could just take one of our screws that we already made and just clone it over and stick it in the holes. Alright, that's fine if you want to do it that way. Uh, I'm just going to look at the reference here. Alright, so on this reference picture it looks like it's probably a Phillips head screw. Alright, it's kind of hard to tell just like these guys exactly what it looks like, but I would guess that's probably a Phillips head. Alright, and if you look on this one, they're different. They're slotted. Okay, so you could do it either way. D depending on what you want yours to look like. Um, I think I might just take the extra couple minutes and make a Phillips head screw just because we have a whole bunch of slotted ones on here already and I don't want it to look like you just made one screw and then you know cloned it a whole bunch of times. Alright so it's up to you entirely if you don't want to take uh, you know any more time doing this piece uh, you can just move on and just reuse one of your screws. Alright that's cool too but uh, I think I'm just gonna make a new one quickly. Okay so let's select this plate piece and go into isolation mode, Alt Q, and we'll jump out and go into the right view. Alright, I'm just going to zoom in on one of the holes again. And uh, same deal as before, we'll start with cylinder to make our screws. Let's go back to the create panel and grab a cylinder. Alright, and we'll just drag one out here, kind of centered in the hole. Alright, give it a little bit of height. Alright, and I think we did the uh, radius of our hole too, so I'm going to do two on this just to match it. Alright, so it fits properly. And we can go into wireframe to make it easier, and I'm just going to line it up with the uh, inside of the hole. Alright, just like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, and we'll go out to perspective and I'm just going to move it uh, over into place. Alright, so we'll drag it over here. Hit Z, zoom in, and just pull it forward. Alright, and you can have it sticking out if you want to. I think I might just stop on mine, just on the inside of the chamfer. Alright, just like that. Okay, it looks like it fits pretty good. Alright, so let's go back to the left view. Okay, we just need to figure out how many sides we need to have on this thing to actually start creating that cross shape. Alright, so let's go into the modify panel. Alright, so we'll do uh, two on the radius and I'll just make the height maybe like 1.5 or something. Doesn't really matter. And uh, we don't need any height segments, so we'll use one. And the sides, I'm just going to up them a bit. And if you want to have a better idea of you know how many sides your thing has, you can always just turn on a cap segment to make it easier to see. Alright, so I don't think we need a lot. 32 might actually be uh, okay. All right, I think I'm just going to rotate this slightly. All right, I'm going to turn off my angle snaps first and just turn this a little bit. All right, I just want to make sure I have a flat edge at the top on both sides and the bottom. All right, so just like that. So it looks like 32 will work fine. Okay, and yeah, we can turn off the cap segment now and just take it down to one. All right. All right so I'm just going to jump out here. I'm just going to change the color on this so we can see it a little easier when we do our cuts. All right, and just going to hit Alt-Q again. Alright, so yeah, I think that'll work. So let's convert it to edible poly. Okay, we can probably do this in the left view. Alright, so I'm just going to uh, go to cut again, and I'm going to turn my snaps on. Alright, and you can always right-click and just make sure you only have vertex turned on. Again, and I'm just going to start here and just cut straight down to the bottom vert. Click and then right-click. Same with this one here. All right, you want to go vert to vert, and then we'll just go right across, side to side. All right, just like that, we can exit cut. All right, so we have the start of our cross shape, and that's what we need for the Phillips head, so just like that, okay. Pretty simple, and then we obviously don't want the slots to be this long, so let's uh, go to edge. All right, I'm just going to uh, select each pair of these guys, holding control, and we'll just hit connect. All right, just to give us another loop in here. All right, it also give us an end to those uh, slots. Okay, so just like that, and we'll go to polygon now. Okay, I'm just gonna select the five that make up that cross shape in the center, and we'll just bevel them in to create the hole. Okay, so bevel. All right, take the height way down. All right, and let's up the outline amount to untwist them. All right, maybe I'll just do negative one on the height, and. Uh, Let's see here. Maybe negative 0 0.1 on the outline amount. All right, I think that should be fine. Just want to make sure you go deep enough that it looks like a screwdriver could actually get in there. All right, make sure you're not poking at the back. All right, that's fine and okay. Okay, so let's exit polygon and we'll just soften up some of the edges. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the left view. And let's go to edge. Okay, and I'm just going to drag around the center and get all these guys. Okay, just like that, and then we'll just uh, hold Alt and deselect the ones we don't want to do. Alright, so all these guys around here. 
Alright, just like that, you can look at perspective. Pretty much just anything that outlines the hole. Okay, it looks like it should be about 40. Just make sure we don't have anything else selected. Alright, that's good. And yeah, let's just chamfer them. Alright, take this way down. Alright, maybe 0 0.04, and okay. Alright, let's also do this outer one here. And we, we won't be able to loop on it if we try to. It won't let us, so... I'm just going to grab one of the side edges and ring it. Alright, control click polygon. And then control click edge again. Okay, and then we'll just hold alt and just deselect everything but the front border. Alright, just like that. Okay, and let's chamfer. Alright, just round this over a bit. Let's go up maybe uh, 0 0.1, and I'll hit apply, and we'll just do a double. Alright, maybe 0 0.02, and OK. Alright, just like that. And we don't really need this back polygon, so let's just uh, select it and delete it. Move delete. Okay. So, not the most awesome uh, Phillips head screw ever done, but uh, you know, it should be good enough for what we need it for. It's pretty tiny detail. Okay, so let's exit polygon, and exit isolation mode. Alright, just gonna hit Z. Alright, so not too bad. Let's uh, throw our gray on there. Alright, again, it's pretty tiny. Alright, so I think that should be uh, all we really need to do for it. Alright, I might just uh, give it a little bit of a random twist. Okay, so let's uh, go to rotate. I'm just gonna spin it a little bit. Alright, again, just so it looks a little more natural. Okay, just like that, and let's just uh, clone it over to the other side. I'm just going to go back into the right view. Alright, and let's select it. Alright, probably should name it actually too, that might be a good idea. So, I'm just going to call it uh, Optical uh, Scope Screw or something, just so I know what it is. And again, you know, name this stuff whatever you uh, want to, it doesn't really matter. Alright, so let's just shift drag a copy over. Just turn off snaps first. Alright, hold down shift and just drag over on the X. Alright, and copy and OK. I'll just zoom in here. Make sure it's centered. Alright, and I'm just going to go to rotate again and just spin it a little bit differently. Alright, just so they don't match perfectly. Okay, so let's take a look. I think that's pretty good. Again, it's not you know exact to the reference, but I think it's close enough. Okay, so with that done, let's save before we move on and start doing the uh, scope. All right, saving our copy. Okay, so let's start working on the scope up here. I'm just gonna take a look at our reference. All right, it's a bit of a weird shape. Um, it's gonna be a little tricky to model, but it shouldn't be too bad. All right, so let's just see if we can find the best view of it. You can kind of see it in all these, so I just keep them all open, I guess. All right, I do have another picture. I'm just going to go and uh, open it in the asset browser. I do have this one up here, which is just the uh, the site by itself. I'm right, just scale this down a little bit so it's not so massive. All right, so we'll work on the base of it first. And yeah, it's a little bit weird, but um, I could probably just do it out of a box. So uh, let's. Uh, Go to the create panel and uh, just grab a box. Okay, I'm going to jump out and go into the left view for this. All right, so we'll go into the right, and I'm just going to change my view back from right to left. Okay, zoom out, hit F3. All right, so let's zoom in here. All right, so we're not going to get it to match uh, exactly here, but we'll get it close. Okay, so let's uh, grab a box, and I'm just going to drag one out here. That's about the right size. All right, we'll just give it a little bit of height. Okay, so let's just make this like 12 on the length. I'll do 50 on the width, and let's just do one for the height. All right, the sides aren't that thick on it; they're fairly thin. Okay, so that should be close. All right, so let's just move it uh, into position. All right, so I'm just gonna drag it over on the X again. All right, get it positioned. All right, so I'm gonna stick it maybe right there, and we can move it over if we have to. All right, so. Let's jump back to the left view. Okay, I'm just going to change the color on this piece one more time. 
All right, so I think the first thing we should probably do is build uh, this piece that bulges out the sides here. Okay, so let's uh, convert our box to edible poly. Okay, so let's just go to edge, and I'm just going to drag and select those four edges, and let's just do a connect. Okay, and we'll do two segments. All right, I'm just going to hit uh, Alt X, All right, just so I can kind of see where that piece is. There it is. All right, so we'll do two segments, no pinch, no slide, and OK. And then we'll just move these guys over. So I'm just going to go to vertex. All right, we'll grab these guys on the uh, left and just pull them back a bit. All right, it might stop right there. And then let's grab the bottom ones, and I'm just going to pull them in. Okay, just to kind of get the angle right for that uh, curved piece. Okay, and we'll do the same thing with this side. Get it kind of close. All right, and we're probably going to need to add a couple more across the uh, middle here. So let's go back to edge and just drag through this way. Okay, and we'll do another connect. All right, and I think two should be okay. So we'll do two segments, no pinch, no slide, and okay again. All right, I'm just going to exit uh, X-ray mode. Okay, I'm just going to go to vertex and just kind of round this out a little bit. All right, so we'll take these two guys here. All right, just move them over a bit. We are going to turbo smooth this piece. Um, so we can just do this fairly uh, quickly. All right. All right. Maybe just something like that. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Okay, so that's probably uh, cool. All right, so we're going to have to pull this piece out of the side, obviously, so we're going to have to add a couple more loops here so we have some thickness when we do that. Okay, so let's go back to edge, and I'm just going to drag through these guys here, do another connect. All right, we'll do one segment this time, and I'm just going to slide it over closer to uh, this edge here. All right, let's do maybe 80, and OK. And then same with this side. We'll grab these guys, connect. And I'm just going to kind of back it off. All right, we'll do 76, and OK. I'm just going to move them uh, using vertex. All right, so we'll just kind of even this piece out. Want it to be, you know, pretty much the same uh, thickness all the way around. All right, so just kind of even it out. Again, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. All right, just like that. Take another look here. All right, we're obviously going to need a bottom on it too when we pull it out, so let's add one more uh, loop across here. All right, so back to edge, and we'll just drag through these bottom guys and do a connect. All right, one segment, no pinch, and I'm just going to slide it down. All right, we'll do maybe negative 60 on the slide, and OK. All right, so just like that. All right, let's check it out in perspective. OK. And we don't really need these center guys here, so let's just go to Polygon and delete these guys. All right, so we'll grab all uh, seven of those and hit delete. All right. And then let's uh, cap the holes here. All right, so let's just grab. I'm just going to go to border and select the border here. And then control click edge to convert to an edge selection. I'm just going to hold alt and just deselect the top two. Okay, and then we'll just hit bridge just to close it up. Okay. All right, so we'll go around to the outside and go to polygon and I'm just going to select these guys around the uh, opening. All right. Just want to uh, make sure I have back facing turned on here just so I don't select anything on the bottom. All right, so just go along. Grab those nine. Okay, and we'll just extrude them out. All right, so open up extrude. All right, that's probably way too much. Let's take it down a bit. I might just do five or so, and I want group here, and OK. All right, and then we're going to have to close this side in, so let's add another loop. All right, so grab one of these edges, do a ring, do a connect. All right, again, we'll use one, and I'm just going to slide it over to the outside. All right, let's say 65 on the slide, and OK. All right, just like that. Okay, and then I'm just going to go in with Polygon and just grab this bottom one here and delete it. Just hit delete. Okay, and I think I might also delete this one here and this one here. Alright, so just the bottom three. And then we'll grab the top two on each side. Okay, hit bridge. Alright, bridge it across. Alright, and then I'm going to select the bottom one on this piece and delete it. All right, just so we have an open hole all the way around. And then let's go to edge. And I'm just going to grab these two bottom edges. 
go to move and then hold down shift and just drag up on the Z. Alright, just to the bottom of that piece. Okay, and let's go to vertex and target weld. Alright, we'll just weld this vert over to the corner. Same with this guy. Alright, then we'll go around to the inside, do the same thing. Alright, just click on one, then click on the other. Alright, just like that, and we'll turn off target weld. Okay, so that's uh, not too bad. Alright, let's take another look. Alright, so we got these little tab pieces at the bottom. Alright, so let's add another loop across here. Alright, just make sure I'm in the right uh, position. Okay, so let's grab all these edges here. Alright, we'll do a connect. Alright, we'll just do one segment, no pinch, no slide. Just hit OK. Alright, then I'm going to control click vertex. Alright, and I want to have this straight, so let's just go down to the make planer again and hit X. Okay, just to straighten it out. Alright, take one more look. Alright, so I'm just going to pull this up a bit, this edge loop. Maybe to about there. Okay, and then let's uh, go back to edge and just drag through the center of this piece. And we'll do another connect here. Alright, again we'll do one, no pinch, no slide. And let's straighten it out, so control click vertex, go down to the make planer, hit X. Alright, I'm just going to move this one over just a bit. Alright, maybe like that. Okay, so let's go up to uh, polygon. And I'm just going to select these guys along here, these four. Okay, and we'll just pull out this little edge detail right here. Okay, so let's extrude. It doesn't have to be much. Let's do maybe uh, 2.5. And OK. Alright, just like that. Take one more look. Alright, so I think we're going to need another loop in here. So let's go back to Edge and just drag these guys and connect. Alright, and we'll do one again and OK. And I'm just going to back it off a little bit. Alright, just like that. Alright, and back to Polygon, and we'll just uh, deselect these two guys here. Right, and we'll just extrude this over. Alright, so extrude again. And again, this is probably not going to be you know exactly to the reference, but uh, I think it'll be close enough. Actually, I'm just going to cancel that for a sec. Don't want to do this end guy. Alright, so extrude again. Alright, just like that. Okay, and we'll just do something like 3. Doesn't really matter. And OK. Right, we'll use the symmetry modifier on here again so we can always adjust the width uh, when we're done. Alright, so let's take one more look. Alright, so it doesn't look like there's anything that crosses up here, but we do have the top of our band here. Alright, so I think we might want to put a screw on the top of both of these guys. So I think I might just pull a piece across here, uh, even though it's not on the reference. Okay, so let's do basically the same thing. Go back to edge, grab one of these guys, ring, connect. I think I'll just do one to start. Okay, and let's straighten it out. Uh, control click uh, vertex. X on the make planer. Alright. All right, I'm just going to position it maybe right there. Okay, and then I'm going to go into the uh, left view. Alright, we want the tab piece to come out over here, so I'm just going to uh, hold Alt and deselect the top two guys. Okay, and we'll just pull this over. Alright, just a bit. Alright, deselect that one holding Alt, and we'll just continue over. Alright, like that maybe. I'm just going to stop right here before the edge. Okay. And we'll need one more for the back of it, so let's go back to edge. Grab one more, ring, connect. Alright, and OK. And then control click vertex, and X again on the make planer. Alright, and I'm just going to leave that one maybe right about there. All right. I'm just going to leave it so you can see a little bit of this uh, sticking out. All right, so just like that. All right, so back to Polygon, and we'll just grab this guy here and just extrude. And right, we'll just go out a bit. Again, we can always tweak it if we want to. All right, I'll just do five or so. And OK. All right, so just like that. Okay, so before we start adding our support edges, let's uh, do a save. I'm just going to exit Polygon, and we'll save. 
just in case we have to go back. Okay, so let's go into isolation mode, Alt Q. All right, just to make it a little easier, and we'll start adding some support to this. Okay, so let's go to Edge. All right, I think we'll start by adding some through this piece here. All right, so I'm just going to grab one of these guys and do a ring and a connect. All right, and for this we want to do two segments, and I'm just going to pinch them apart. All right, maybe we'll do 50 on the pinch and OK. All right, we might need to add one across here too, so let's grab this guy and ring and connect. I'll right, just take this down a little bit. Let's do maybe 30 on these guys and OK. All right, and let's grab this one here, ring this and connect. All right, I think I'll just do 30 here as well and OK. Alright, and we're also going to need one to hold the top, so let's uh, add one. Right, so ring, connect. This time we'll do one, no uh, pinch, and just slide it up to the top. Alright, maybe uh, negative 70 on the slide, and OK. Alright, let's actually add a turbo smooth to this so we can get a better idea of uh, what it's doing. Okay, so let's uh, exit edge and go into the uh, modify list. Turbo smooth, put one on, two iterations, ice line display. Alright, we can turn off our edges, F4. Alright, and again, we're not going to be, you know, exact to the reference. You can see this has quite hard edges on it, and the uh, one on the reference is a little smoother. Uh, but I think it should be, you know, close enough. Okay, so let's drop back to edit poly. Turn our edges back on. All right, so let's support some of the stuff down here in the back. Okay, so we'll go to edge, and I'm just going to grab one on this block piece, and we'll do a ring and a connect. All right, we only need one segment here because this is going to join to the other side when we stick it in here, so don't need to worry about that. We'll just do the uh, left side of it. All right, so let's just do one and slide it over. All right, I'll go maybe negative 85 and OK, and then we'll do the same up here. Ring these guys, connect. This time we'll need two. Alright, no slide, and we'll just pinch it apart a bit. Alright, maybe 55, and OK. And then grab this guy, and we'll just add one across here. OK, so ring those, connect, one segment, no pinch, and just slide it over again. Alright, maybe 65, and OK. Again, I don't want to have the corners too sharp. Alright, so. We might need to add a couple this way to hold these uh, outside corners. Okay, so let's start at the end here, and we'll just grab this one and ring it. And we'll do a connect. Okay, and we'll do two segments, no slide, and we'll just pinch them apart a bit. All right, maybe 70, and okay. All right, and let's do a couple here. All right, so ring, connect. All right, we'll do one here, no pinch, and we'll just slide it back to support that back corner. Okay, maybe 90, and okay. And then we'll need one up here to hold this corner, so let's put one in here. Right, ring, connect. All right, I'm just gonna slide down to the other side. Just wanna watch up here that we're not getting too close to this uh, loop. All right, so I'm just gonna sit, uh, say okay here, and we'll just move these over manually. Okay, so let's go into the left view for that. All right, I'm just gonna go to vertex. All right. And again, make sure you don't have back facing turned on. All right, so I'm just going to grab these guys here. And just move them kind of into the middle of this piece, all right, between these two edges. All right, for this one, I think I'm just going to kind of follow it down. All right, so it's kind of even. All right, grab these two and just push them over. All right, just so they kind of match. Let's check it out on the back. Okay, so like that. All right, and we'll probably need one here as well, so let's uh, go back to edge, do a ring around the center of this, and uh, connect. All right, so I, I don't think I'm going to add any to the inside here to hold this uh, corner and this corner, because we do want that to be nice and rounded out, so I'm just going to do one again. All right, no uh, pinch, and we'll just slide it over towards the center a bit. All right, maybe 80, and OK. And again, let's just straighten that out in the left view. Okay, back to vertex, and we'll just grab these guys and move them over. And right, kind of even things out. OK, 
Okay, so that should be fine for these ones. Let's do a couple for this guy here. All right, so back to edge one more time. And ring and connect. All right, again, I'm going to do two segments. No pinch, no slide. And hit OK. And we'll move these ones manually as well. All right, so let's jump back to the left view. Back to vertex. Okay, and I'm just going to kind of straighten them out the same way. All right, start at the top, just work our way down. Same deal on this side, just going to kind of even things out. Right, let's take a look. Alright, so that should hold the shape. Uh, we might need a couple around this way, so let's do that. Okay, so back to edge, and we'll just grab a corner here and do a ring. All right, just want to make sure it goes all the way around the bottom. Okay, and connect one more time. All right, we'll do two, and I'm just going to pinch them apart just a little bit. All right, let's say 30 or so, and okay. All right, and I didn't add any across here or anything, and uh, or to support this inside corner. But again, I want that to be you know somewhat soft on the inside. So I'm going to see how it looks uh, without doing that. Okay, and uh, we might need some down the sides here. All right, if you look on the reference picture, you can see it has fairly rounded over corners. All right, so I don't want this outside edge to round over too much, but I do want to keep it, you know, somewhat tight. So yeah, let's add one in here. Okay, so we'll grab this guy, ring, connect, and we'll do two again. All right, just pinch them apart. All right, let's do maybe 80, and okay. All right, so if we exit edge and turn uh, showing result on. Our corner's a little too uh, sharp for the reference here. Okay, so to round it out a little bit more, I'm just going to go back, turn off show and result, go back to vertex, and right, I'm just going to grab these uh, four verts on the top of the support edge there and just push them back a bit. All right, and then I'm going to grab these guys here and just move them down a bit. All right, it's going to look kind of nasty, but uh, it should work. Right, let's test it. Let's hit show and result. All right, turn off our edges at four. Right, just gonna move down a bit. Okay, we can exit vertex. All right, so we just want it to be rounded over. I mean, if you get in here really close, you can see it's not totally smooth, but uh, you know, at a distance, it's gonna be okay. All right, it's just gonna make our mesh look a little nasty, but that's okay. Sometimes you have to do that, you know, to get the result you want. You can't always get it nice and uh, neat. All right, so we'll leave it like that, and we'll have to do the same thing down here with these guys. All right, so back to vertex one more time. And we'll just grab these four on the top, pull them in. All right, then we'll grab all the rest of them here and pull them down. All right, and again, we can turn on show and result. F4. All right, we can exit vertex. All right, so just like that, and again, it's you know it's not exactly the reference. This is you know fairly hard here, and uh, our reference is a lot softer. But I just don't want to spend too much time uh, on this. Okay, so we're almost done. I think we just need to add one across here to hold this uh, corner. Okay, so let's turn off show and result. All right, we'll go back to edge, and I'm just going to grab one of these ones and do a ring, and a connect. All right, and this time we'll do one segment, no pinch, I'm just going to slide it down towards the bottom. Alright, we'll go maybe 80 or so, and OK. Alright, let's exit edge, turn show and result on one more time, and just take a look. Alright, so I think that's probably all we really need to do. Let me just check this corner out here, it looks a little weird. Alright, turn that off. All right, you might need to add one more in here. Okay, so let's go back to edge one last time and grab one of these guys into a ring and a connect. All right, I'm going to do this uh, one segment, no pinch, no slide, and hit OK. All right, and then I'm just going to go over and uh, grab these verts. All right, these guys here, these 12, and just pull them over a bit. 
just try to straighten this stuff out as best we can. Okay, maybe like that. That should just give us a little extra support on the corner there. Okay, so let's exit uh, Vertex, turn on Show and Result. Alright, so that looks a little better. Again, it's not perfect, but I, I think it's all we really need to do. Okay, so with that done, let's uh, do a save. Okay, let's just add the symmetry modifier to this. So I'm just going to drop down to Edit Poly and then go into the modify list and put on a symmetry. Alright, we're going to flip the uh, mirror around. Alright, looks like it's the Z. Alright, so I'm just going to uh, open up the rollout for symmetry and uh, just click on mirror and then we'll just move this uh, back. Alright, let's flip it. Alright, so just like that. Make sure where we need it to be. Okay, so I'm just going to move the mirror so uh, both pieces are attached together in the center. Okay, and then we'll just turn that off and close the rollout. Okay, so let's exit isolation mode and see how we're doing on the width. Okay, so I'm just going to hit Z. Right, so it might be a little too wide, I think. Alright, so let's uh, go back into uh, symmetry and just select the mirror again and I'm just going to move it over. Alright, so it's just not so wide. Alright, so that's probably cool. Okay, so we'll uh, turn off mirror, close up the symmetry. I might just delete the turbo smooth temporarily. Okay, and I'm just going to convert this to edit poly just so it's all one piece. Alright, and then we'll put our turbo smooth back on top of the stack. Okay, two iterations and a nice line display. Alright, I'm just going to throw the gray on here. Okay, and let's just take a look. Alright, so it's not looking too bad. It's close to the reference, not perfect, but uh, close enough. Alright, so with all that done, uh, we're going to have to start working on the actual sight piece that sticks out of the top. Um, but let's just save one more time, just to be safe.